Here we are back at our irrigation system. If you remember, we got our uh, valves and our timer and stuff. Something I didn't have on there last time was this backflow preventer. Now this backflow preventer is for uh, keeping fertilizer and stuff coming back into your well or your water system if you've got an inline fertilizer, which is what I'm fixing to show you about. This is an inline fertilizer system. It's an easy flow, one gallon. I got it from johnnyseed.com and uh, it's pretty straightforward. You've got this tank in which your fertilizer will go. And then you got a couple other components over here I wanna show you. So this is your main cap, which you'll screw on the top right there. And then on each side, you've got an in and an out right here. And on both sides, you can see you got shutoff valves so that you can stop it at any point. And then you've got your siphon down here and your mixer. You got your inline, which is right there on your left, that little one. And then uh, your one that sucks it back out on your right. You see it's got that uh, filter on there. And the reason that you want one of these is so that you don't have to drop fertilizer on every single plant. You can just put it through your whole irrigation system. And what you'll get is you'll get a uh, water soluble bag of fertilizer such as I've got here. And uh, you, it'll tell you how much it'll do. And it tells you the rates here on the back. And for my uh, area, I'm gonna use about a third of this bag. Now you need to measure that out on your own. You can get very scientific with it, but it says that this bag will do 1500 square foot and I'm doing a 500 square foot area. So I'm just gonna get the bag about even right there. And then one, two, here's my third right here. I'm gonna take it, just squish it off. And that'll be about right. And I'm gonna set this camera down and, and I'm gonna cut that off. So here you go, I've got it open. I'm just putting it all in here now. Now I've got it all filled up and I'm just gonna put my cap on right here. Twist it down. Man, y'all don't know how hard it is to do this stuff holding the camera. All right, sit down. Flip it upside down. Do it like that right there. Just because I've got a camera in my hands, the only reason I'm doing it that way. So there it is. That's pretty tight. Got it on there. And all I'm gonna do is take on my my uh, my flow uh, valve right here. If that's what you wanna call it. I'm sure there's a better name. It's just a, a fitting that allows these tubes to come in and swirl around and, and come in and come out. And uh, we're going to just hook it up right here beneath our timer. Voila, we got that hooked up. I've got my tank hooked up. See my little hoses there? And I've got my inline, which is black. It doesn't matter if you see it coming in. You can pick this up and feel if there's water in it or not. But what you need to see on this side is whether there's color coming out. You know, that fertilizer is blue or maybe you, uh, you got something that is white and you need to put a, a food dye or something in there to make sure you get flow. You can see it through this clear line. Now remember on these, we can turn these on or off and let's see that way is on let's see about this one and that one's on too now we're going to turn our water supply on oh it was already on we got our water supply on we're going to go over here to our beehive water timer our irrigation timer and we're gonna put it on manual which is right there we're gonna turn this on to let's see if we can do hours 360 minutes we want three three hours no we want four hours no we want five hours so five times six is what y'all is that 300 minutes let's 
So there we go. It's flowing. And look here on this side. Now we can see that that is running through there. That's slightly tinged blue. I can see it even if you can't. That's clear. That's slightly tinged blue. And on top here, we have the settings. Slow, one, two, and fast. And we'll use that to disseminate our fertilizer uh, according to gallons. And I, gosh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I know that it said that slow is uh, it will do a thousand gallons to, to run this tank out and fast is obviously faster than that. I calculated it up. Uh, mine needs to be on two in order to do the square footage that I got. Now that's going to vary for you, but it's, it's a lot simpler than you think folks. I waited a lot of years to do this kind of stuff because I thought, Oh, that's so hard. I'll, I've got i I'm not able to, to do all that stuff. It's a lot easier than you think. The hardest part is just getting out and doing it. So, why don't you go get out and do it and get your garden going. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. God bless y'all.